हेलो एवरीवन वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अ लॉट अबाउट एआई आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस लेटली एंड वी नो एआई इज एवरीवेयर इन आर पॉकेट्स इन योर कार्स नेटफ्लिक्स अकाउंट एंड सो ऑन आई वांटेड टू क्रिएट अ वीडियो सो दैट आई कैन टेक यू थ्रू ऑल द बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजीज ऑफ ए लाइक डीप लर्निंग मशीन लर्निंग एंड वी विल गो थ्रू ओनली the basic definitions of these terminologies so that you have an understanding what exactly are they. and when somebody talks about these terminologies you are not overwhelmed and you know at least the basics of these keywords and if you want to take a deep dive please go ahead and refer to other videos to learn them in depth welcome to my youtube channel my name is hardit singh and i have overall 14 years of experience and 10 plus years experience in service now and you can connect with me on youtube linkedin or on twitter or x so this would be the agenda of our video we will be going through artificial intelligence what is machine learning deep learning generative ai and in the last we have a bonus section if you want to jump to any specific topic the link is in the description so let's quickly start with this video what is artificial intelligence so ai is a discipline of computer science so it comes under computer science subject like physics comes under science so basically it's just a study of computer science so what does artificial intelligence actually deals with it deals with building machines that think or act like human beings I guess you would have seen the robotic chess players a long time back those were also based on AI and if you are playing with a machine or a computer a chess game that is also artificial intelligence where the computer thinks for the next steps what should it do another example could be when you are using your google map it reroutes you to the best path if there is a traffic jam ahead so these are all examples of artificial intelligence next moving on what is machine learning it is a sub field of artificial intelligence so that means it comes under artificial intelligence and it is a program that trains a model from input data so in machine learning we write code to understand some data and then we make predictions out of that and you would be able to see some data which you have never seen before or any outcome or output which you might not have expected so that model or that piece of code will generate new things for you there are couple of types of models like supervised models and unsupervised models and we have semi supervised model as well if you want to learn in depth about machine learning you would need to understand all these models but just to give you a gist supervised models get trained on labeled data that means it could be a table which contains rows or columns where you will have specific headers and values underneath those and then the model will predict outcome based on that so the goal of supervised learning is learn the mapping from inputs to known outputs so it can predict outcomes for new unseen data next is unsupervised learning so in unsupervised model the model is trained on unlabeled data that means that data could be anything it could be a video it could be an image it could be an audio it can be just random set of data in a csv file in a text file or anything so you input all of this into unsupervised model and the model will try to learn from that and then again it will produce some outcome which is unseen but in this one advantage is this model will try to discover hidden patterns or groupings or structures within that data automatically it's just like exploring a new city without a map one example of machine learning could be your netflix so if you have watched two or three crime thrillers on your netflix it will start recommending you the crime thrillers then if you start watching some 
romantic movies it will start suggesting you romantic movies taking one step ahead it could be learning from your patterns like on saturday night you watch romantic movies on sunday mornings you watch crime thrillers and so on so it would recommend you those movies on those timings as well and it will keep improving its recommendations and this is called machine learning moving on what is deep learning it is a sub field of machine learning so it comes one step further down and it tries to mimic the human brain so if you have studied basics of biology and if you remember our brain is connected through neurons so if you are looking at an image and you would predict that it's a dog right so there are many neurons working together that it has fur it has four legs it looks like a dog how it walks so after seeing that image all the neurons will connect together and they will produce an outcome that it is a dog or a cat similarly in deep learning we have these input layer on the left hand side then we have this hidden layer and then we have the outcome layer so all of these neurons or you can say neural networks in deep learning will work together to actually produce an outcome using semi supervised learning again the example could be you upload an image and this deep learning algorithm will identify whether it's a cat or a dog based on the neural data and the data which was fed to it earlier next we have generative ai and we are going one step deeper so generative ai is the sub field of deep learning and in this generative ai we create text images audios videos code etc so you give a prompt to generative ai like chat gpt and it will produce that outcome so if you want to write a code for service now you want to write a code for java dotnet oracle anything you just give the prompt what is your requirement and it will generate the outcome it uses artificial neural networks can process both labeled and unlabeled data using supervised unsupervised and semi supervised methods so basically it is using everything to generate content for you again it depends on your model how well is your model trained what kind of data it was trained on and the more you train that data the better would be the outcome and remember that in generative ai when you are writing on chat gpt it is very important to write your prompt efficiently so that it produces the outcome efficiently so this is the basic diagram of what we have learned until now artificial intelligence is a subject in computer science and under that we have machine learning and under that we have deep learning and within that we have very specific generative ai i hope all these terminologies are clear to you and now if somebody is talking about these terminologies you would have an idea at least that what are these and why they are there next moving on to the bonus topic now assist so what is now assist in service now this is very very specific to service now by the way and why do we need it so service now came up with their own generative ai solution called now assist which is designed to enhance the efficiency of the developers the end users the agents and so on so right now they are using open ai llm model and they are in talks with google as well to enhance that model so as we discussed in the previous slides what is generative ai so now assist is the generative ai solution of service now so it will produce something right so for agents what does it produce so it produces chat summarization or the incident overview summarization or maybe the chain summarization what does that mean is so if an incident is having like 50 or 60 work notes it will consolidate all those work notes and give you maybe 
few pointers that this is what was the ticket about this is what it has been done the chat summarization would be if the end user is chatting with the chat bot for like 10 or 15 minutes and then the chat is redirected to the agent the agent can summarize the whole chat you know what he has been chatting with the chatbot about for last 15 minutes and he doesn't have to go through all the chat again read each and every line but the agent would summarize the whole chat and it will just be in a few lines so it will save a lot of time of the agent the effort of the agent as well as the end user next for creators so now assist or service now has something for creators as well so you can automatically go and generate flows the playbooks or catalog items or data visualizations that means reports also using now assist you just give a prompt and those flows would be automatically generated you can write the code as well on your business rules or client scripts it will automatically generate that code in the next videos in this playlist I have shown you how to activate this now assist on your service now instance and test that how to do chat summarizations how to generate flows using just a prompt so I would highly recommend you to go and check out those videos as well in this playlist and there are many other videos which are coming on now assist generative AI agentic AI so please subscribe to my channel to watch all those videos and understand in depth about ServiceNow's agentic AI solutions as well. If you have any questions or any doubts on now assist or on these basic terminologies of AI, please let me know in the comments and I would be happy to connect with you and explain you in depth on all these terminologies. Thanks for watching the video till the end. I hope that this video was helpful to you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Thank you.